Let's be real. Amen. Critics are not gonna like it. They're gonna call it buckethead music. Yo, 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 yo. We got the Levi's Wide Guys. Check out the full podcast. Link below. We're gonna talk about Lil TJ. He just dropped a new album. Yes. Two, two, two. I found out that this was uh Angel Numbers. The number two is very significant, especially for Lil TJ. If you look at it, the la- all of his albums has to have the number two in it. Destined to win, mm. true to myself. Now two two two. He's very methodical in that. Q, what do you think about the album? He was actually shot <clears throat> yeah, June twenty second. In that too. Uh tw- 20, 2022, right? Let's get into it. So I mean, I think it's a good project. I mean, you know, I, like I said in my review for the project, he was entering his most critical moment. Like when something tragic happens to you, you know, you usually tend to make your best work. Like, you know, Tupac went to jail. He made his best albums when he came out. You know, Gucci Man went to jail, came out with fire in his belly. Mm -hmm. So I expected Lil TJ to make perhaps his best body of work. Y'all can argue if this is better than his other project. But I do think it was an inspired body of work. Mm -hmm. Very emotional records. TJ has always done melodies. We already know him to do that, right? He relies on melodies a lot. But... There was another layer of emotional vibes on this album that I, you know, connected with. I really liked that. And then he really opened up. This was more than just Buckethead, you know, lyrics and stuff like that. He Bucket, actually talked about... Buckethead. You know, he actually talked about, <laughs> like, meaningful lyrics. stuff, like, beating odds. Yeah. You know, he talked about things like, you know, feeling chose, like the chosen one. Like, right. why am I here? You know, and then talking about his come up. So, yeah. it... it what I said was, it sounds like an album from somebody who got as close to it gets mm. to seeing the light. Mm. Like, you know this person was impacted by something, and you just listen to the album, you can just tell. Damn. So it was a good listen. Um, is it my favorite album of 2023? No. But I do think it's an entertaining and good listen. For real, for real. That's fair. And I, I like how you even kind of ended there, man. Like... It definitely sounds like a dude who has gone through a lot. You can hear it in the music. Yeah. Matter of fact, the album cover has him shirtless with visuals of the bullet holes. Yes. Right? I mean, if you guys are not aware, Lil TJ was shot seven times last year, should have lost his life, miraculously survived to a lot of people's surprise, and I'm sure even him. I was You surprised. hear it in the music. He's He's at this point... He seems to be still traumatized. You know, you hear it on songs mm-hmm. like the one with uh, Jada Kiss, right? Mm-hmm. He's still talking about like, yo, I'm traumatized, you know, which how could you not? Yeah. Right. How and you ever he would never not be traumatized. Facts. And, uh, you know, it's it's interesting, man, because I think um, TJ's one of them dudes in his class that makes good music. He has a knack for melody. Mm-hmm. He has a knack for just what sounds good musically. And I think he kind of sets himself apart because he has this gangster persona, mm-hmm. even prior to getting shot. Mm-hmm. But he's he's he understands how to tap into vulnerability. Again, we talk a lot about dudes, especially his age, whether it's the NBA Young Boys, who also is featured on this album, mm-hmm. Project Walls. Yep. And they're talking a lot about struggle, pain. You know, you talk to the young kids, they talk about they they actually classify this as pain music. They talk about the Rod Waves and all these guys who tap into the struggle, right? There's people who can just relate to that, and um, but he does it in TJ such a does it in an way. interesting way. He does it in such a street gritty. Like you can't listen to the album and be like, "Man, this is a punk ass dude." He's nah. singing his ass off. No, nah. no, nah, it doesn't. It no, nah, like you you listen to it, you're like, "Yo, this is heartfelt music." Definitely. And I think part of it is just the fact that he's from New York. Like I'm not gonna lie, like there's just. Authentic Every aura. artist from New York is gritty. There's always going to be some type of layer of grittiness to them. Like A Boogie. A Boogie sings and A Boogie makes songs for the for the ladies, but there's a little <laughs> splash of it's a good observation. grittiness, you know, that New York has. And I think that's what's dope about TJ. That's what you wrote right. about these New York artists. I like the fact that the album wasn't long. I really I really like the fact it was 15 songs like that's that, long. that that's that's I said it was that's not a long. Normal. I said it wasn't long. No, it's not I wouldn't say it's short and I wouldn't say it's long. I would say that's normal. What 15, are you talking about? 15 tracks? I just said I like the fact that it was not long. Okay, what, are you, what, are you, <laughs> what are you arguing with <laughs> yeah, me about? Sense. Okay. <laughs> like it was okay. it was perfectly, okay. I think, okay. Okay. straight to the point. Okay. It conveyed a message. I liked it. It wasn't th- listen. Could is it the greatest tracks. album I ever heard this year? Yeah. Of course not, but it is one of the top hip hop joints, I will say, that dropped this year. Okay. To grade the album, um, I would probably give it a, a strong B. Just a strong B. It's good. Hmm. It got good music on it. I got a B. 
I thought it's it was gotta be good. as well. Be, but I know it's one of those joints that critics ain't gonna like at all. Let's be real. Amen. Critics are not gonna like it. They're gonna call it buckethead music. Listen to the full episode. Link below.